In this video, we're going to show you how we go about painting a bedroom in less than an hour. And we have about a 12 by 12 bedroom with a little bay window right here, three windows. We've got a doorway and a small hallway. We're not going to go down this hallway. We're just going to do the bedroom. This is an actual master bedroom and the ceilings have been painted, but we're going to show you how you can actually paint the walls in this room in less than an hour. And a pretty typical scenario where a lot of people are attempting to just do the painting themselves and it can be done and it can be done quickly this is gonna be done with three painters three professional painters and you're gonna watch and see this process right now so in order to get this process done and get it done quickly we've got three people one person is gonna be doing the ceiling cut-ins one person is gonna start off doing the masking getting the, all the trim masked off and I'm gonna start rolling the walls right away the walls we got a paint that will cover in one coat over this color we're using right here so you want to do a really good layout when you're doing this so your final coat's gonna look really good it's really important that you work as a team that way you don't get any haloing so the person doing the cut-ins I'm gonna be right behind them rolling and who's ever uh, wants the other person doing the taping and masking they're gonna follow up right behind me that way you keep a wet edge from your ceiling cut ends to your cut ends along your baseboards and window trim and door jams that way you don't get any haloing or flashing so we're gonna start this process and work this room as a team and get it done in less than an hour so we're gonna start this painting process I got in this room I got a nine inch roller we're also we're painting this entire house and we're using uh, an 18 inch roller to do this in entire house. We got a, a 9 inch set up to work around some of the other areas that 18 can't work around. So I'm just going to roll this room with a 9 inch for purposes of this video because more than likely most people are using a 9 inch roller. So we're getting going, throwing the masking around. And we're gonna get, once we get paper down, we're going to start doing the painting. So we got one person running our one inch tape around. We're running some nine inch paper around the edge so we don't drip anything on the carpet. We laid out our drop, drop cloths real quick. And you can see our 18 inch roller and our nine inch pan. Throwing some paper over the top really quickly over our blinds so we don't drip anything on the blinds. Here we go. We got John, he's working on the cut-ins right now, the ceiling cut-ins, and he's using a two gallon bucket with one gallon grid, and he's using a three inch uh, angle sash brush to do the ceiling cut-ins. Now I'm using just a contractor's white woven three eighths inch nap on this nine inch roller. I've got myself a pan, the pan is a two gallon pan right here, so I'll hold two gallons of paint. Zach's running the tape. He's getting pretty close to being finished with the tape and he's gonna grab his bucket to follow right behind me doing the cut-ins around the baseboards. And he'll be using a three-inch brush, angle sack brush also. So it took Zach a few minutes to get that masking run all around. He used one inch tape. It was 3M2020 tape. So we got Zach. He's following up now. He started the cut-ins. He's using clear caulking, just caulking the tape so we don't get any bleed through underneath our tape.
Well, we started this task at, it was 10.30, we're 14 minutes into it right now. Got one wall done, got, we're moving down this other wall. Zach's working on the cut-ins. It's going up in front of us right now. We've got two walls done now. I'd say we're approximately, probably about 20 minutes into it right now. And prior to the paint drying, you definitely want to pull all your masking before the paint or caulking dries. Well, there you have it. We've got the walls all rolled, ceiling cut-ins all done. It's 10.55, we're 25 minutes into it. All four walls around this bay window, all the cut-ins, ceiling cut-ins. Zach's done doing the cut-ins around all the windows, baseboards, now we're pulling the masking. We got John pulling the masking. Got Zach also pulling the masking. He's done with all his cut-ins. We have one doorway we worked around. We didn't go into the master bathroom, but we worked a little bit down the hallway. And then baseboards, two, we got three windows we worked around. Now we're just pulling up this nine inch paper and we'll be done. Now the paper is all completely pulled and it's 1056. So we got this room done in less than an hour. And I think we're less than a half hour. There you have it. A room could be painted all four walls with all the cut ends, ceiling cut ends, and the baseboards done in less than a half an hour. So we're all done with this room. We had three guys working in the room and it took 26 minutes, which equals 1.3 man hours. So if it was just one person, we would just would have been slightly, if one, just one of us would have did it, slightly over an hour to do this entire room. So there you have it. You could actually do a room in less than, or approximately one hour, way less than an hour if you got more than one person. All four walls done. We did use a paint that it will cover in one coat. If you had to do two coats, obviously it's gonna take a little bit more time, but we're using a good quality paint. Luckily the uh, color that was already on the walls, it was a color that you could one coat over the top. There was nothing with the walls that, the walls didn't need to be primed. They were in really good condition. This is uh, pretty much a brand new home. So we're just picking things up here now. Well, the switch plates, we can't install the switch plates because the paint's not dry. We wanna wait, wait for the paint to dry. That would be approximately about five more minutes to install the switch plates. We got drop cloths in here. It would take us about you know another five minutes to fold up all these drop cloths and then clean up all this and get it out of here. So you're definitely still under 40 minutes to do this room with it all completely cleaned up. We would actually vacuum the room too. That would probably take a couple more minutes to vacuum it, but we're actually working in this whole house just wanted to show you that you could actually roll a room in less than an hour, paint it in less than an hour. I do have a video that I did about three years ago, which I get a lot of questions and comments on that it's not possible to do. You can check out that old video right up here and watch us three years ago actually painting a room in less than an hour. It's definitely possible to do. It doesn't actually have to take you a whole weekend just to do one bedroom. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This video is all done now, and we actually did paint this whole entire house. We rolled all the walls, painted the ceilings too, did, it's approximately 2,000 square feet, and we did it all in two days, and we hand rolled all the ceilings, hand rolled all the walls, 
and all the closets. So not only can you not uh, only paint a room in less than an hour, you can paint a whole entire house in less than two days. It will be done before the end of the day today, so it'll be you know, uh, approximately two days, two full days, but a little bit less. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. 